What's up you guys? Welcome back. It is officially the most wonderful time of the year. Y'all probably know by now if you watch me that I absolutely love the holiday season. This is by far my favorite time of the year. We're now officially past Thanksgiving because I'm a November 1st holiday season begins kind of girly. But I know some people like to wait till after Thanksgiving. But no matter which way you slice it, we are in the holiday season now. And I am excited. The holiday season always comes with a bunch of family and friend events, gatherings, parties, all that kind of stuff. So today I'm going to do a full holiday makeup tutorial all drugstore edition so I grabbed some of my favorite drugstore products and we're going to do a full face full glam holiday makeup tutorial I feel like I do a full glam less than I used to now but when the holidays come around baby I whip out that full glam and I'm so excited to do this it's been a while since I've done like a sit-down tutorial like this so without further ado make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can notified of all my future uploads and let's go ahead and get started starting off with primer I'm gonna jump in with the elf poreless putty primer and I'm gonna get some of this on my finger and then I'm going to tap it into any areas that I have enlarged pores which for me is right in this area and right in the center of my forehead so I'm also gonna tap it in there too just to give me a smooth canvas to go ahead and apply my foundation on top of and do you guys see my red nails normally I always 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 have a neutral nails like either just a light pink or French but during this time of the year I do go for the bright red so I got them a couple weeks ago and they're bold but I like them for a few weeks that I do them per year alrighty up next for foundation I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal true match foundation this is shade n5 I like this because it's not super matte it's not super dewy it wears really well it gives a good color Coverage. It's long lasting, so I know that if I'm going to a party or perhaps multiple events during the holidays, this is going to last. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that just sprayed everywhere. So hang on. It mostly missed my shirt, but that's because it all went in my hair. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, hang on. You just kind of tap this out of there. A little foundation in the hair never hurt anybody, right? All right, I think we're good. Gonna go in and apply this to my face. Now I'm just blending it out with a beauty sponge. You can use beauty sponge, a brush, whatever you prefer to apply foundation. I love this foundation and you can find it a lot of times for under 10 bucks and it's so good. All right, now that we got that all blended out, it's time to go in with our under eye concealer. So I have been loving the Koki full coverage double time concealer. This stuff is so good. It's like nine dollars. I always get DMs asking me where to find this. Koki can be difficult to find in drugstores. Some Rite Aids do have them, but aside from that, they do have a website, which if you order off their website, I do have an affiliate code with them, which is code Kelly, which will get you a discount on this, but they are also available on Amazon. So those are like the three easiest ways to get their products, but they make a great affordable makeup. And this concealer is my new fave from the drugstore. The coverage that it gives is so good. It's long wearing, it's matte, but it's not drying to the under eyes. And it has a really, really impressive me. You guys know I love Tarte Shape Tape and this is a very close Shape Tape dupe. Like definitely the closest I've ever found from the drugstore. I really like it. And there is something about the holidays too where I always go for a little bit more full coverage. Again, I think because I'm going for the more full glam kind of look, I like to do a full coverage flawless face. And especially too, at least in my family, we definitely take a lot more photos during the holidays than any other time of year. So you gotta make sure you're looking picture cute. So definitely a good concealer for that. All right, just close out the face. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Bronze Stick. I absolutely love Love this. I always get questions about the shade. This comes in quite a few different shades, but I'm using shade Moon Moonstone Beach. That is my normal shade that I use in this. It's like towards the middle of the shade range. I have a couple that are lighter, a couple that are darker. I'm gonna sculpt and chisel out my face with that. This is $9, it blends like butter. I absolutely love it. And is one of my all time favorite products from ColourPop. And it kind of serves as like a contour and a bronzer cause it's a more in between shade. It's not super warm toned, which is what a bronzer would typically be. It's also not super cool toned which is what a contour would usually be. It's kind of right in between, which I like. So it kind of serves both purposes. All right, now when it comes to cream blush, spoiler alert, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a bright pop on my lips. So whenever I do a brighter lip, I don't like to do a really bright blush too. I feel like I personally can't pull it off. There are definitely other people that can, but on me, I don't know if it's like my skin tone or the blonde hair, it gives like clown on me when I have like a really bright blush and a really bright lip. So I like to do one or the other. Since we're doing a bright lip, I'm gonna go with a more neutral blush. This is the Pro Fusion Blush Hour Soft Matte Blush. These are like four bucks at Walmart. The shade is Rose. It's like a lighter pinky shade. And I'm gonna put that on the cheeks. Honestly, I could just skip cream blush in general, but I just feel like it's part of my routine. I always apply a little bit of cream blush. So this one is just a very light 
pink kind of shade, nothing too crazy or bright, and just adds a slight flush to the cheeks, but isn't gonna take away from the bold lip. Alrighty, now that we have that all done, it's time to set with powder. Whenever I really need my makeup to last, a powder is always a must to set my liquid product. So my favorite from the drugstore is the Fit Me, and you really don't need a lot of it. I just got some in there. It is tinted, so I use shade light medium. I'm just gonna go in with my brush and gently set my face with that, just to lock everything in place and it's not gonna move around. And then I go in with a little bit of the lightest shade and use that to set my under eyes and brighten. Alrighty, face is done, so I zoomed you guys in for us to do the eyes. We're gonna start with the brows first. I'm gonna jump in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and draw a little border for these brows. I like to start by just drawing a line underneath them like this. And I go in with the spoolie to kind of like blend it out. And then I like to go in with a brow pen. So this one is from CoverGirl, it's the Easy Breezy Brow Pen. And I'm gonna draw little brow strokes like little flicks upwards to help to fill in the brows just to gently fill them in all right looking good now we're gonna jump in to the eyes so I'm gonna be using the elf this is their summer breeze palette which it doesn't seem like it would be a holiday palette because it's called Summer Breeze, but these colors are perfect for what I want to do. So I'm gonna start by going with this shade right here, and I'm gonna pop this into my crease as a neutral transition, and I'm just blending it upwards like so, and just blending that out. Now I'm gonna pop in with this more cool toned shade. I really love cool tones. Recently, they've been like my favorite thing, because I used to do mostly all warm tones, but I kind of just love the way cool tones look like. A little more muted, and I feel like I gravitate more towards the warm tones in the summer and then more the cool tones like in the colder winter months. Does that make sense? In my head it makes sense, I don't know. But I want it to be a little bit more of like a cool toned eye. So just blending that all out like so. Then on a little bit of a smaller brush, I'm gonna grab this cool tone shade. This one's a bit darker and I'm gonna start to buff that into the outer corner just to deepen that up and just smoke the eye out a little bit. Okay, now for all over the lid, I'm gonna go with the lightest shade. I kind of want to have it be like a bright pop. So I'm just carving out my eyelid with this and I'm still leaving that outer corner smoked out, but I'm just kind of carving out the rest of the eyelid like this. For the lower lash line, I am gonna go in with this really dark color. This is not a true black, it's like a really dark gray. I'm gonna press that up really close to the lower lash line and I'm gonna bring it about halfway. I'm gonna stop halfway. I'm not gonna bring it all the way into the inner corner and then back in with that medium tone cool shade and I'm gonna blend that out on the lower lash line just to diffuse out that color and smoke it out. All right, now something about the holidays also always brings out the need for a wing to me. So we're gonna do Wing, I'm going in with the Joa lineup liner and I'm gonna line the upper lash line and then wing it out as well. All right, getting the wings equal is always the hardest part. They're not even really equal. They're they're just in cousins, but it's okay. They're not gonna be twins today. For the waterline, I am still gonna do a lighter color though. I just like the way it opens up my eyes. This is Honeydew from ColourPop. And I'm just gonna pop that in the waterline and then go in with a mascara, my favorite, the Milani Anti-Gravity. Gonna coat both my upper and lower lash line with this. All right, got the upper lash line all coated. Now, honestly, most times, at least nowadays, like on a daily basis, I just do my upper lashes with mascara, but because this is more of a full glam look, I am gonna go into my lower lashes as well and coat them. All right, now you can totally just leave it like this with just mascara, but I'm gonna bring it a step further in case you wanna be extra bold, and I'm gonna top off with some lashes. These I've used a bunch of times, they're like falling down, but they're the NYX Ego Flare Lash, and they are so beautiful. I got mine at Target, and honestly, they're kind of expensive for a drugstore lash, and they're like $14, and I did not think they were gonna be worth it when I bought them, and I've worn them so many times, they're so pretty. All right, gonna go in and pop these bad boys on and popping on the other side now. These have a super flexible band so they're easy to apply to, which is really nice. And here they are on. I just love the little flare that they give. They're like tapered, so they're longer on the ends, shorter at the front here, but I absolutely love them. And I have worn them a lot of times. So I feel like I got my money's worth on them, even though they're pretty expensive for like a drugstore lash. I really like them, so. That's that for the eyes. I'm gonna jump in with the Makeup Revolution bronzer real quick and just bronze up the skin a little bit, add a little flush. I really like this bronzer. It's like marbled and it looks really, really pretty. Gives a nice like bronzy kind of glow. Then for blush again, I don't wanna do anything crazy, but I do wanna do a little glow. So I'm gonna go in with this Physicians Formula Butter Glow Pressed Powder. It's kind of like a pearlized marbled blush and I'm just gonna tap, tap off the excess and then tap on the cheeks like this. 
super pretty, but nothing too like bold. And then I love this little contour kit. This is from uh, Relove by Revolution. It's literally $2 at Walmart. I think $2.98, so three bucks. This is in the shade Sugar. You get a contour, a highlight, and a blush. I'm gonna go with the highlight. And I'm gonna just get some of my brush and pop that on the cheeks. It's kind of icy, perfect for the winter season. I'm put a little bit on going down my nose above my cupid's bow. And I'm also gonna pop it in my inner corner and right beneath the brow bone, like so. Just add a little pop in there since we have an all matte eye. All right, now for the star of the show, that bold lippy. So I'm sure you guys could have guessed that the color I'm using is red. So I'm gonna go in with a red liner. This is an older one from Wet n Wild. Any red liner will do. And I'm gonna just line my lips to give them a border like that. It's coming up a little more pinky than red, but I think it'll be okay. Now, one of my favorite red lips out of any of the red lips, so drugs or high-end whatever, is this one from Milani. It's in the shade Poppy and it's so pretty. This is their soft matte one, so it's gonna be matte. So it's not gonna transfer everywhere, but it's not drying to the lips. So I really like this. So I'm gonna go in and apply. It's like the perfect holiday lip in my opinion. I love it. You can totally leave it like that if you want something that's more matte, but if you want to add a little gloss, I really like the NYX This Is Juice Gloss. This one is in the shade Pomegranate Clout, and it'll give it a pretty little glossy finish, and is so pretty. I love these two together are just stunning. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will list all the products that I use down below in the description box if you want to reference that. I'm wishing you all the happiest holiday season, and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!